So you're creating a video and you want a lot of different words or elements popping up at different times during your video. You remember we used to have to split them like down here at the bottom to get each type of transition from work from the words or the elements to pop up. So now Canva has timing. So what you can do with timing is you can do all of that together versus splitting and keeping it on the video. But I do recommend if you have a very long video, still doing some splits because you don't want 30 different sayings or elements all stacked up in there. It gets a little bit monotonous and then it just like there's a whole stack of them. So what we're going to do here with this video I have here, we just put another video up. Let me set it to the background here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put, I am just doing any kind of random text here. I want to do some sparkle, some glow, some smooth and tasty, some action. Um, those have got things on it. Dazzle, sweet. So now I want to time these out in my video. The easiest way to do them is if you're if you're going to keep them like in the center or in the same area at the same time, would be to group them. And then come over to your three dots. Go to show timing. And then see this little arrow right here? Push that up, and then you have each one of your elements or your sayings here. And then you can adjust the timing when you want to come in, when you want to go out, according to how you want to do that. But as you can see, if you put, they're all going to be on the first frame. So even if you want to go back at some point and do more, it winds up being a lot. It looks like a hot mess on your first frame when you're doing it. And so when you go and go back in here and you can hide your timing, position, layers, video, down, hide your timing. When you first look at it and click into that and you look, it's all gonna stay on this first thing. Even though I've changed some of them, they're all going to sit right there. But when you play your video, it's not going to show up that way. It's go they're going to pop in and out as you did, as you did whatever adjustments you did to it. The other way you can do it without gr uh, grouping them together is you can do them individually. But the only problem with that is if you're really looking for specific timing it kind of gets a little crazy on that point too. So we'll take these and ungroup those. So let's ungroup those. Let's grab sweet and then go show timing. It's just going to show you sweet. So if you're trying to line up the rest of them, when you go click on the next one and go to show timing, you're going to have to hide the timing of the first one. And then you're going to have to go down to Dazzle. And then you're going to have to go Show Timing. And only Dazzle is going to show up. So the problem with that is, is you don't see the other ones to line them up with. So then you're doing a little bit more manual work that way, trying to figure out where one stops. So you're going to have to play the video, see it if it's stopping at the right point, go back and forth like that versus having them all grouped together and be able to see when one ends and one starts again, if you get me. So that's Another reason you might still want to split a video in certain parts because you just don't want to have too much going on. Say you have a 10-minute video. You don't want 10 minutes worth of this, especially if you're trying to put like kind of like captions or, you know, cute little bumps that are popping up like little hands or some cute little animation popping up. You don't want to do that while you're with this because it's just going to be too long and like I said it's going to be crazy and then you're going to be like all right so I got all this stuff piled up on me now I got to go in my position over here try to figure out which one it is go over here and then try to show the timing sometimes I think the split is just the easier way to go because 
on that situation right there, I mean, I have my split and I have these words on this split and then the next split in my video, I have these words and, you know, I know exactly where my stuff is. I know exactly where I wanted to put it. So it might be a personal preference for you, but I do say for some things, especially if you're doing some animations and you want stuff to pop in, pop out, fade in, fade out, this tool is awesome for that because say you have a sun you want to to pop up at the bottom, but then you want to turn around and kind of like fade, have the fade on the end of that and then have a moon fade in, pop in right behind it and fade into where that sun was. So something like that could be cool. So it does come in extremely handy for those kind of things without splitting. And every once in a while too, when you split the pages, if you ever know, split a video, you've seen it. Every once in a while on Canva, it'll look jumpy. 99% of the time when you download it, it is smooth. Um, you don't see any kind of transition from one split to the other. So it's really a personal preference. And that's my take on this. And that's how you do this. And I appreciate you stopping by and trying to learn this tidbit with me. Um, please like, please subscribe. Please come back and see me sometime. Much love, Michelle.